a warm welcome to all who are listening to us uh, this Easter. Uh, happy Easter. This is a moment in which we are celebrating uh, the crucifixion, uh, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in his journey and endeavor to save humanity and reconcile us to, back to God. Uh, this week is uh, popularly known in the church language and circles as a Holy Week, beginning from last Sunday, which is Palm Sunday, the week that Jesus entered into Jerusalem victoriously. Uh, and his entry into Jerusalem triumphantly uh, was uh, marked by a warm welcome and a great reception of people singing Hosanna, which means Lord save us. And Jesus came into Jerusalem well knowing it is his last journey and he was going to be crucified. The rest of the population did not understand his mission and his agenda, but it was very clear in Jesus' mind that was the moment he came for humanity. Uh, this week uh, is normally uh, celebrated, as I said, from Sunday uh, and throughout the week. And Jesus did a number of activities before his crucifixion. Uh, in the middle of the week, after Palm Sunday, he got into the synagogue. He did a very big cleanup of the synagogue. He found people who have changed the synagogue into a place where they are doing business. The money changers were there. Uh, those people who are selling their wire, their livestock. The temple basically became uh, a marketplace uh, for people to make a living out of it and for people to make it a, a, a place where they come to uh, make money and gain money uh, and that uh, Jesus, when he entered, his first job was to clean up the temple place and make it a place of worship and the house of God where the love of God is to be experienced uh, not uh, the selfish interest of the human uh, person. Uh, after uh, sending out those who have been uh, using the synagogue because he threw them literally out of the synagogue, uh, out of the temple to go and do uh, their uh, business uh, outside and elsewhere, he began teaching. Uh, and in his teaching, he began to speak about uh, the kingdom and the things that God uh, requires of us. Uh, to uh, live by and uh, to uh, observe so that we can become better citizens of the kingdom. Uh, during the Last Supper, he began to teach the disciples the way of the cross is the way of servanthood. And he literally uh, washed the disciples' feet and uh, told them, whoever wants to be great in the kingdom must be the servant of all. He took a towel, rubbed on his waist, and they brought a basin and washed literally the, the, the feet of every disciple. And uh, he was led to uh, Golgotha, where he was nailed on the cross uh, until he died uh, to pour his blood on our behalf. Uh, what a sacrifice. Uh, therefore, his leadership is not just uh, teaching on servanthood, as he taught the disciples in washing their feet, but he also demonstrated in his life that uh, it, leadership is about sacrifices. And he led uh, by example of sacrificing himself for the betterment of others, for the future of others, uh, for the future of humanity, and for the reconciliation of humanity. Uh, critical points that uh, this message gives us uh, is that uh, one who is a leader must be prepared to pay the ultimate price, uh, not through death as Christ, although sometimes it leads to that, but uh, to sacrifice all, uh, not for his own sake, but for the sake of others. Uh, but uh, the problems facing us today uh, in our nation, in our land, and in our churches is that we have uh, been in that place where the Pharisees and the teachers of the law who are users of the temple have translated the temple into a, a place where they come to gain popularity, uh, to make money, and uh, to do their own businesses not necessarily the business of God. And uh, this is a wake-up call for us, even in the Christian church of today, uh, where our society have idolized money, and money have become the God of this day. Uh, and uh, we see more or less what happens in our churches is not very far away from what is happening and what happened in the temple during the time of Jesus. And therefore, our call to all of us is uh, let uh, the church be the church, let the holy place and the sanctuary be the sanctuary, and let us offer the sacrificial 
uh, leadership that Jesus offered, uh, the servant leadership that Jesus offered by showing others the way and the church be standing in the gap on behalf of the poor, the less fortunate, and those who need a better life. Jesus came so that we all have a better life. The church must stand in the gap that everybody attain wellness and everybody attain uh, that moment and that place where we can all say we have joy because we are secure in God's hands, uh, we have provisions uh, through God's uh, providence, and uh, we are living fulfilled and uh, lives that are satisfied by God. That's what Jesus said himself, I came so that they all have life and have it in abundance. That abundance life uh, is not in excess, it is a life that is lived modestly, but with uh, all the needs of a human person are taken care of, spiritual needs, physical needs, uh, relationship needs, uh, the needs of uh, being together uh, and loving each other. Uh, and therefore, our message for uh, Easter is a message that uh, God gave, came to give us life. God took our place uh, and uh, 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 took the place where we deserve death so that we may, we may live and we, we may have life. We are also uh, uh, teaching this uh, Easter that uh, uh, the victory of Christ uh, it did not end in his death. He died, yes, he was buried. Uh, on the third day, day uh, which we shall be celebrating on Sunday, which is Easter Sunday, uh, he rose from the death, conquering death, uh, making death uh, a non-entity when it comes to the kingdom uh, and the ability and the uh, almighty and the power of God so that uh, death is not uh, the end of what, all what is visible and seen today. And therefore, we must also begin uh, to realize in this journey, death is not the end. Jesus has power to resurrect and to give life back and life eternal. 